Man, my hair's like funky. Um, I'm getting ready to go to work. But, you know, last night when I did my video, I think it was the five facts one, and my mom yelled for Visine. Okay. When I got home from work yesterday, my dad was laying in his chair with a rag in his eyes. His eyes hurt. I said, well, you should go to the doctor. My mom had told him earlier in the day, you should go to the doctor. Well, then they came in here, and that's when he was asking for a Visine, because he thought maybe that would help his eyes not hurt. So, about 6.30 last night, <laughs> it went crazy. His eyes... I said, Dad, look, look at me. And he looked at me, and his eyes were, like, all swollen and shut. And I'm like, can you open them? <laughs> He'd have to take his fingers and go like this, and they're all red, and they hurt real bad, and they feel like there's sandpaper in them. And then he had a little snot coming out of his head, and I'm like, dude, something ain't right. You should have gone to the doctor earlier. And, you know, by now, the doctor's closed. So I come in here for a minute, and his friend, his boyfriend... Larry calls and says, uh, Neil coming to the meeting. Does he want to ride? And my mom's like, he can't see. He's having problems with his eyes. And, uh, he wouldn't go to the doctor for me. My mom was kind of mad because he wouldn't listen to her. And so, Larry's like, well, does he want to go to the emergency room? I'll come and take him. And mom's like, oh, we'll call you right back. So I hear my mom in there and, and I yell, you better go. So I go to the other room, and we're all talking, and Dad's like, yeah, call Larry and have him come take me to the emergency room. I can't handle it anymore. So here he is walking around blind, and my mom's getting his wallet ready. She puts the wallet in his pocket and says, Neil, you have your driver's license, your insurance card, your list of medications that you take, because he has to take, um, he has, he has blood pressure problems, but not, just, just something to keep it under control. And, and um... All the little things he stuck it in his pocket and put his cell phone in his other pocket. And Larry came and they left about 7 o'clock. And they were back by 9. Which, going to the emergency room, you know what a miracle that is. Well, they flushed out his eyes <clears throat> at the emergency room. Because it was a very small hospital near me. Where I was born, actually. And they said... Um, and they gave him some numbing drops, which Dad's like, I wanted to take some of that home, but they wouldn't let me. He says, Susan, put those in. My eyes felt so nice for a split second. Then it wore right off. So, um, they said in the morning when he got up, he needed to go to an eye specialist. So that's where they are right now. They're at an eye specialist. So at the Michigan Eye Clinic, which is right down the road, to go see what's wrong with the Dad's eyeballs. Because some ain't right, people. He looked miserable. So, we're having an eyeball saga today. But I'm getting ready to go to work. That's about all I got. Just eyeballs, eyeballs. I hope it ain't anything serious. We don't know what it is. To me, it looks like an allergic reaction. With all the snot. And he said he doesn't feel bad. It just is painful. And they're just, when the left one's like swollen more than the right one, and we don't know, he isn't around anything different. We don't know what, we're just confused. So we are glad that he went to the hospital last night. <clears throat> Even if it did take his manly friend to come and take him. Yeah, let Larry come and take me to the emergency room. So, yeah, him and his boyfriend went off to the emergency room. So, that was our saga last night. Now I'm curious what the doctor's going to say. But like right now, it's almost 10 o'clock and I really need to go to work. Pretty much all I have to do today is empty out my basket and I'm done. So I pretty much maybe have an hour or so worth of work. Because I did a lot of it yesterday. I sorted through my basket, scoped out the situation. There isn't a whole lot there. <clears throat> See, I'm glad we're back to our regular deadlines again at the paper, people. Because if I had to scrape around and put an issue together today, I would probably shoot myself in the head because I just hate that, like, quick deadline. But now I have until Tuesday. I feel like I have all the time in the world. 
And our boss isn't there. He never came in this week. He never came in last week either. Short weeks. He called and said, I'm not coming. Daylene's like, okay. <clears throat> so. Now I think I'm going to go. Into the world. It's going to be cold out there. I know it. Because we have snow. Snow, 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 snow. Alright. Bye. I just wanted to tell you like the eyeball saga. Has anybody ever had anything like that happen to their eyeballs? Anybody? Oh, no, this is. Let's look. Oh, it's the boyfriend. I'm going to go now. My dad's boyfriend.